Thanks for taking a minute to click into this Freshword video. It'll be the last one we do for 2022. Uh, and it's just filled with my thanksgiving to you and to the Lord for you. Uh, I read in Paul's letter to the Philippians, chapter one, verse three, I thank my God in all my remembrance of you. So Kathy and I and Ruthie and our son Ben and his wife Maddie out in Detroit, we thank God for you. We thank God for the landing, the faith family at the landing, the leaders of the landing. We thank God for the way that you have uh, thrown your arms of welcome around us and incorporated us into the life of the body here for the way that we have done ministry together, the way we have uh, pressed into the Lord together, worshiped him together, pressed into his word together, sought to become more and more like Christ together. I wanna to thank God for you. And I want the end of 2022 to resound with our gratitude and our thanksgiving. Notice what Paul's thankful for in Philippians 1. He says, always in every prayer of mine for you all making my prayer with joy. When we pray for the landing, which is every day, we make our prayer with joy. The joy that we have is a, not a separate joy from the joy that we have in Christ, but it's an expression of the joy we have in Christ. The people of the landing are the hands and feet and the, the very face of the love of Christ to us. We have experienced the love of Christ through the faith family at the landing. We are so grateful for the privilege that God has given to us to serve in the ministry of the word and in prayer among you. And so I feel, I think what Paul was feeling when he said, when I pray for you, I pray with joy because I'm so thankful for the people that he was praying for in Philippi. And I'm thankful for the people I'm praying for here in Duluth at the landing. He goes on to give the foundation or the ground or the reason for that. He says, because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. And we can say that here. We can say that here. We're only five years old, but we can say that there's a partnership in the gospel that we've had that unites us and excites us here at the landing. We have made the gospel the centerpiece of our lives. God has enabled us to do that. We take no credit ourselves. We're broken. We're weak. Uh, we're needy. We are not strong in ourselves. We boast in our weakness so that in our weakness, Christ's strength might be made perfect. So we're not looking for ourselves to be stronger in 2023 than we were in 2022. There's no way we want to see ourselves as the solution for any growth or development or advance that needs to happen. We pray for those advances, but we ask God to do them. God's the most important person about the landing. He's the most important person about our lives. He's the most important person about reality. I'm looking out the window right now and it's the shortest day of the year, so the sun is setting at the time that I'm recording this. But my goodness, the glory of the Lord is on display in the snow, in the trees, in the cold, in the sunshine, in blue sky, in the wildlife, in our bodies, in our relationships, in the gifts he's given to reality like truth and beauty and goodness, and in the singular proclamation of the gospel that we find in God's word, the death and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. We celebrate at the end of the year, around December 25th, the birth of Jesus Christ, but the incarnation is crucial and essential and foundational to the very witness of the gospel all year long, as is his righteous life, his death, his burial, his resurrection, and his ascension. So we celebrate and love Christ, make much of Christ, delight in Christ, give thanks to God for Christ in all ways and in all times and in all places. Paul goes on, he says, because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now, and then because of that confidence in God that he achieved the gospel and it's made him filled with joy and thankful for the Philippians, just as I am for you, he goes on to say, and I am sure of this, I am sure of this, that the he who began a good work in you, that good work is that gospel work, will bring it to completion at the day of Jesus Christ. Meaning, if God did all this work to cause us to love and serve him up till now, he's not gonna stop. He's gonna keep going. He's gonna cause his people to persevere to the end so that we are secure in him, we can rest in him. Our security is rock solid and as, as immovable as God's own promises are and as his own will is, and we will be completed 
until the day of Jesus Christ. His second coming, in other words, is going to be perfectly successful because of his first coming. His first coming was successful in gathering a church to himself. We know then his second coming will be utterly and completely successful to gather to himself all whom he has purchased by his blood. Not one missing. Not one missing. I love the gospel. I love it on every page of every book of the Bible. I love the gospel as it's plain and clear, and I love to say, I too am sure that the faith family at the landing will persevere because of God until the day of Christ Jesus. Whether we're with him in spirit and our bodies are in the grave before then, or we're alive when he returns, either way, he will cause us to persevere. I would die for that truth. And he will cause his heaven to be populated with those whom he has chosen from before the foundation of the world. There's our security. There's our hope and our joy. There's our confidence to say, I am sure of this. As sure as you can be in the promises of God. Not sure in the fickle will of man. No, no, no. Paul's never places his surety in the fickle and changeable will of man. He puts it rock solidly in the absolute, unshakable will of God. So that's where my hope is. That's where my joy is. That's where my thanksgiving is. And I wanted to share that with you in this last Fresh Word video of 2022. I hope in your life and in your home, you have a wonderful Christmas celebration. I hope you come and join us on Christmas Eve at four o'clock on Saturday, and then come and join us again at 10 a.m. Sunday morning to worship on the Lord's Day. What a privilege we get to worship the Lord twice in one weekend because of the fact that on Christmas Eve, we gather and worship together and because of the fact that on the Lord's Day, we are, as he helps us, faithful to meet with God's people as he commands. What a privilege and what a joy. We thank the Lord not only for the past, but we thank the Lord with confidence for his sure and certain future. And we pray that not only are you going to have a wonderful Thanksgiving among your family, but that you will have a glorious Christ-exalting new year. Please join us. Please gather with God's people. The Spirit is prompting you to do it. Whatever's keeping you from doing it, put it aside. Overcome it. Deny it. Defeat it. Stand fully in the prompting of the Holy Spirit and the command of God's word to not neglect to meet together as is the habit of some. We pray that your meeting together with the Lord is filled with joy, filled with thanksgiving, filled with healing, filled with forgiveness, filled with, with worship, filled with holiness and sanctification and boldness. Let me pray for you this last time in 2022. Father in heaven, I thank you for the faith family at the landing. I thank you for the many ways that the landing has lavished kindness and gifts and support and help upon me and my family and upon Pastor Andrew and his family and upon uh, many others who benefit. We thank you for the global partners that we celebrate with. We thank you for the ministries we're a part of here in the Duluth area. We thank you for the ministries that occur within our faith family uh, body And we thank you so much for you being the source, the beginning, the middle, and the end of all of them. For from you and through you and to you are all things. We thank you for the surety that the Apostle Paul has, and we share with him that all that you began to do in us, you will complete until the day of Christ Jesus. God, thank you so much for Christ, for the Spirit of Christ who's poured out upon the church and poured out in conviction upon the world for sin, for judgment and righteousness, and is gathering men, women, and children to yourself through the preaching of the gospel. Let us be part of that and engaged in that until the day that you return. Your first coming gives us all manner of joy and confidence in your second coming. So we pray, come Lord Jesus, complete your work, gather your church, glorify the Father, and lavish joy upon your people, your bride, in yourself, our eternal and heavenly husband. It's in your precious, glorious name, Lord Jesus. I pray all these things. Amen. Thanks for taking a minute to click in. I hope you have a great rest of 2022 and a wonderful launch into 2023. We look forward to seeing you soon. God bless you.